During the 19th century, a few areas in the Philippine Islands lay outside Spanish influence and control. These include the region around Davao Gulf, which was inhabited by Moro and Lumad indigenous peoples. In 1844, under the orders of Spanish Governor General Narciso Claveria, Spain expanded its control to the region. In 1848, after defeating ruling chieftain Dato Bago, Spanish forces and settlers led by Don Jose Cruz Oyangoren established a settlement which they named Nueva Vergara. It was in the early 1900s under American rule when roads, telegraph lines, ports were set up, abaca and coconut plantations, ranches, factories were established. Rapid economic progress in the frontier followed. The period saw the entry of migrants from Luzon and Visayas, along with the Chinese, Americans, and the Japanese. The Japanese settlers flourished, and during that era, Dava was known as Little Japan. By the 1930s, the town was expanding and the growing influence of the Japanese community had worried political leaders. To counter the expanding influence, President Manuel Quezon signs the charter of Davao Assemblyman Romualdo Quimpo, creating the city of Davao in 1936. The new city was created by combining the municipality of Davao and the municipal district of Gyanga. By March 1, 1937, Davao becomes a city. The law formally took effect 15 days later. As a means to lessen the political influence of the Japanese, Davao City in its early years was governed by a succession of appointed leaders. The Japanese landed in Davao on December 20, 1941 and effectively controlled the city until the coming of the Americans in 1945. Immediately after the liberation, the city government was re-established. Despite suffering tremendous devastation after the war, the city's march to progress resumed. In 1955, Republic Act 1368 was signed into law which provides for the election of the city mayor, vice mayor, and 10 city councillors. In November 1955, the first local city elections were held. Carmelo Porras was the first elected mayor. In 1967, Elias Lopez, a full-blooded Bagobo, is elected as the city's highest official. Mayor Lopez was the first indigenous mayor of Davao City. Also in the same year, Davao Province was divided into Davao del Norte, Davao del Sur, and Davao Oriental. Davao City the former capital of the undivided Davao province was made politically independent from the three new provinces. The city continued to grow well into the 1970s, but political developments in the country also made a tremendous impact in the city. By the 1980s, the city was again plunged into turmoil. It became a bloody laboratory for urban guerrilla warfare waged by the communist New People's Army. It was an era marked by bloodshed and violence. Davao was known as Nicaragdao. Shortly after EDSA, the new government under Corazon Aquino appointed OIC officials across the country. Zafiro Respicio was appointed city mayor. Rodrigo Duterte was the city's vice mayor. In the 1988 elections, Rodrigo Duterte, former fiscal and the son of the former governor of Davao province, rose to prominence. Duterte was elected city mayor for three consecutive terms. Under his stewardship, peace and stability returned to the city. It has become one of the safest city in the country. And with it, Dava was again enjoying years of unhampered economic progress. In the late 1990s, former city administrator and vice mayor Benjamin de Guzman 
was elected city mayor. In 1998, Davao City was ranked by Asia Week magazine as one of Asia's most livable cities. In 2001, Rodrigo Duterte was again elected as city mayor. Under his new term, Davao was ushered into the 21st century. Fresh mandate and strong political will, Mayor Digong instituted innovative and groundbreaking ordinances and programs into the city. And with advances in information and communications technology, Davao has become one of the country's most modern and progressive cities. In the era of stability, Davao City underwent several challenges. But instead of surrendering to fear and hatred, Dabawenos reached out to spread the message of unity and peace. In 2010, Sara Duterte became the sixth elected mayor of the city. Mayor Indai pursued further initiatives to help prepare the city for further growth and development. In the 2016 national elections, with Davao City as his showcase of exemplary governance and leadership, Mayor Rodrigo Duterte was elected as the country's 16th president, the first Philippine president coming from Mindanao. Sara Duterte returned as the city mayor, building the momentum under a Duterte presidency. From a remote colonial frontier, to one of the country's most progressive cities. The story of our city is a testament to its leaders and to its people united in charting its glorious destiny. As Dabawenos march to achieve their noble aspirations, the city's colorful and beautiful history is continuously being made.